We can skip the next two pages. We had to pull the article over a legal issue. Wait, is that the, uh, the lesbian Muslim artist story? We think this will have a huge social media reach. Okay, I just, I think this story is worth fighting for. I have spent the last two hours down a lesbian Muslim rabbit hole. I'm gonna persuade that artist to be in the magazine. Oh, Jacqueline wasn't happy either. Well, she wasn't happy with the interruption, but she was basically telling me to go after that story. Ah, uh, hello? Hey, uh, Adina, right? Mm-hmm. Kat Edison from Scarlet. Feed was it? My manager who often neglects to tell me about meetings when she knows they're going to annoy me. Adina, Kat was very persuasive on the phone. I'm so sorry that you wasted your time coming down here. Meeting with Adina was a disaster. You know, there's a lot more inside of a woman than what you can see on the outside. Yeah, I know. Because there's a lot more inside of me, too. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for this girl. So tell me, Kat, have I misunderstood you? I'm a feminist, okay? I'm political, and so is this magazine. I have a shoot scheduled in the Middle East tomorrow. I fly out on the red eye tonight. Okay, well then I'll convince you. You are very relentless. You have no idea. What is going on in there? A uh, focus group. They are illegal in my country, which is why I do not respect that law. Can I ask you a personal question? What's your sexual orientation? You know, honestly, I actually really get the whole girl thing, but, you know, for me, I could just never get past this. It's never just been about this. It's more about this. Damn it. I've never really been much of a boobs girl either. You use humor to hide your real emotions. Hey, I'm gonna ask you a personal question. Why do you still wear a hijab? I choose to wear the hijab. It does not oppress me, but liberates me from society's expectations of what a woman should look like. People tend to get uncomfortable when they cannot put you in a box, but I always like to make people uncomfortable. <laughs> You're very good at it. Very nice packing contraband with you, Cat Edison. Yeah, you too, Adina. I mean. <laughs> Kat, you can run the article. Adina's been detained at the airport back home. They found one of the vibrators in her luggage. Well, does she have a lawyer? No. Maybe I could help, but uh, I just have no idea who to call. She has to admit that she's deeply ashamed of her crime. There's strict punishment for women who choose to defy them. Listen up, everyone. Stop what you're doing. We are going to tweet that a woman is being held against her will. Hashtag free Adina, unless someone has whoa, something whoa, whoa, better. Hold up. Have you even considered what this could do to Adina? Putting attention on it? Shaming them? God, Kat, just think it through. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Hello? Hey, Adina. It's so good to hear your voice. Adina's a brave girl, but so are you. I had a sex dream about Adina last night. What? I know it's weird. But you know, guys, sometimes sex dreams don't really mean sex. No, this one did. What about that Adina piece, the Muslim photographer? I've actually tried to get into contact with her, but she's been a little tough to reach. Uh, or a lot tough to reach, actually. She deleted all of her social media accounts. Well, have you considered telephoning her? We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed in dial. Surprise. Adina, good to see you. Oh my god. I want you to know that I did receive your picture. You touched me here, too. Thursday, I have a show. It's downtown at a gallery. I, if he can come to that, I would love to speak to him. Totally. Totally, Scarlett. <laughs> yeah, you should come too. I'd like that. What? Oh my god. Did you know she was gonna use this? You I crazy. did not know. Gorgeous. What? Um, and for what it's worth, I'm really sorry that I didn't take the Dina thing seriously last night. Is this real? I don't know. Uh, I definitely feel something. And I think about uh, all the sex stuff and what that would mean. Have you said hi to Adina yet? Mm. Gay, straight, I don't, I don't know. Just gonna go talk to her. Go talk to her. Hey, are you okay? 
I feel like such an idiot. I uh, just completely misread that whole situation. You're not an idiot. Hey. Hello. I've been waiting for the right moment to come talk to you. What I was uh, thinking of was <laughs> just how incredible this show is. It's amazing. Do you think she knows? She probably heard you. <laughs> Adina. Kat. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. I've decided to try and extend my work visa. I want to stay. The process is a nightmare. They need all these documents and character references. I was hoping you could write me one. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be honored. I seriously thought for a second that Adina was coming here to Tell me she had feelings for me. Okay, see, now it makes sense why she wants me to do it. Or she really cares about the way that you see her. Or better yet, use the letter as an excuse to hang out. I really appreciate you taking this letter so seriously. I'm, I'm touched. So should we get a drink? Right, you don't drink. See, I'm learning more about you already. But I do eat. Why don't you speak English, bitch? Okay, come on, Kat. He's not worth it. Come no, on. no, apologize to my friend right now. Okay. Hey, don't touch me, you dirty little towel head. <laughs> ah, what the hell? Do we have a problem here, sir? Yeah, yeah, we have a problem. She just assaulted me. Oh, come on, that is total BS. Adina, tell them what happened. She punched me, that's what happened. Adina? Kat? No. No, you left me alone. I didn't have much of a choice. No, everyone has a choice. No, you have a choice. But I'm a Muslim lesbian living in today's America. My choices are very limited. You said that she wanted to extend her visa. Getting arrested could have complicated that. We were in the right. I wish that's all that mattered. But unfortunately, being right is not always enough. You were right. I owe you an apology. We are from different worlds. I really want you to stay in mind. You're courageous and thoughtful. You're the only person I've ever met who, you know, completely throws me off my game. I think I really like you. Probably since I decided to pursue a friendship with you, knowing that my feelings were not entirely friendly. I don't regret it. I don't like I made out with Adina last night. And I'll be two minutes late. I kissed a girl. And you liked it! Liked it. And I liked it! Yeah! How did it go? It's not easy, Kat. Coco and I... Yeah. I mean, I, I can't really imagine. I just needed to hear your voice. It reminds me why I'm doing this. For us. I uh, signed you both up for Soul Will. Don't fight it. It's happening. I've never seen her this strung up by anybody before. I know. Are we excited for her or nervous? A little bit of both. I'm so happy that you're here. That I told Coco. It was time. It's Coco, isn't it? You know what? I feel like you should just take it. Honestly, I have so much work to do. It's Kat, a please moment. just sit. It'll... I'm gonna go. What the hell was that? You send me a cowardly text and then you disappear? I told you. I don't want to do this. Where the hell is this coming from? Is it because I'm a woman? Because I know you don't have any experience being in a gay relationship. And I would never ask you to do anything you're not comfortable with. Relationships just aren't my thing. That was not the impression you gave me the other night. You should work it out with your beautiful, successful, certified lesbian girlfriend. That was 
horrible. It's not that it's a gay relationship. It's that it's any relationship. And I can't promise that I won't mess it up, but I'm totally in. I booked a flight to Paris. Coco and I are going to try to work things out. I leave tonight. Seriously, though, what is going on between you two? We're just keeping in touch. Keeping it light. Staying friends. And yes, we were almost more than that. But the timing was off. But you guys said that if we were ever single at the same time, you would do group Tinder with me. So, uh, yeah. Dude or a lady. Okay, I'm a one woman kind of gal. Can't have a Dina. I think I would like to get back with the pain. Hey. <clears throat> I saw you called. Are you okay? Uh, I had a bit of a hard day, but I'm okay. Hey, you ready? Look, I have to go kind of running late for this thing. Uh, what thing? It's a date. Boy or girl? <laughs> Bye, Adina. How often are you speaking to her? Not that much. Just like daily, twice a day sometimes. Look how cute he is with his hat. Look how cute he is. <laughs> He's terrible. Play Freebird. Hi. Bonjour. I think you mean bon nuit. It's very late there, isn't it? How was your day? Mm. You know what, Trevor? Um, I'm not really feeling it. This is alright. I saw her violinist. The man by the water? I loved him. <laughs> we really miss you a lot. Cat? How are you? I'm okay. Everyone here is um, thinking about what they'd do if they got laid off. Where'd I go? I know myself. I know you too. Things aren't going well with Coco, are they? Adina, hey, isn't it like super late there? I can't stop thinking about what you said earlier. If I was getting laid off, I would do something crazy. Buy a ticket to Paris. What if I were to book a ticket? To return to New York? What? Finally, I've been following your flight. Kat, there's a problem. I'm being held here at customs. They won't let me into the country. What? I need to know she's okay. What are you doing? I'm buying a ticket. What? To where? It's the only way to get through security and into the terminal, and maybe I can see her. And that's a first class ticket for just $11,000. $11,000? This is crazy. Adina! I haven't received the extension of my work visa yet. I got flagged because I only have one way ticket. I knew it was a risk, but I took it. You'll go home, we'll get you a crazy, amazing lawyer, and we'll figure it out. Hey, hey, Adina, I just want you to know that I'm here. I'm in this with you. Adina Elamin, will you go on a date with me? Yes. Huh? I left home very young. Everywhere I go, I discover something new about myself. Amsterdam was where I first fell in love with a woman. South Africa was where I discovered the power of portrait photography. Everything you want to know about me is in those pages. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm thinking about starting a new photo series. Oh, really? Yes, the working title is The Woman Inside the Pillow Fort. Oh. <laughs> Dina, I know that you said that you're tired of adventure and everything, but I've never had one. And I already have the plane ticket. What if I just went with you? You ready? Dina, I'm sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. No, I'm sorry that you're the one going and I'm the one crying. No, it's okay. Everything is gonna be okay. I got swept up in it. The way that traveling makes her feel and the way that it makes her think, I I wanted that. You know, life can change in a flash, so what are we waiting for? We should be taking in every experience. We should be living our lives, taking risks, and, you know, putting ourselves out there. <laughs> 